Amongst us enthusiasts, electric cars have always had quite a bad rap. Apart from the obvious issue of range anxiety, they are often seen as too quiet, too slow and too dull. But Renault begs to differ, which is why they've invited me to the Dubai Autodrome to drive this. Looks quite high tech, doesn't it? But no, before you ask, it is not coming to a showroom near you. In fact, it's not coming to a showroom at all. This car isn't for production, it's a one-off concept. And that's really what the Renault Zoe eSport concept is about. It's to actually change the perception of EVs. Now, we know that EVs are all about being green, saving the earth, being good for health, all that sort of thing. But apart from the goody good stuff, EVs can also be fast and fun. And this car with 460 horsepower has a wild side to it. So we're going to find out how electric this electric car really is. The car's aggressive design is very aerodynamic and looks race inspired. Check out that massive front air dam, carbon fiber spoiler and rear diffuser inspired by the Renault Formula E racing car. And under that carbon fiber skin is some serious racing hardware. A stiff tubular chassis, double wishbone suspension all round with adjustable dampers. There's not much on the inside of the stripped out cabin, a competition steering wheel, digital readout and a row of switches to play with the power output. So then, what's it like to drive? I mean, the first thing that really strikes me is the sound. There's really no sound the way you know it. There's no engine roar, there's just this whir and whine of motors. It's really quite silent for a race car. I think earplug manufacturers are going to go out of business and uh, if this is going to be the future of racing. But the acceleration, that is just something else because it's so linear, so responsive, this car. And just coming out of these corners, the way it accelerates is just something else. Uh, this car is driven by two electric motors from the Formula E car and together they develop 460 horsepower. It gives a 0 to 100 time of 3.2 seconds, but it feels a lot quicker off the mark. That initial acceleration, it's really quite something, but after that power just seems to tail off because you just run into a wall and that's what EVs are about. That top end still isn't there. The response of the electric motors to your right foot are instantaneous, or should I say electric. This racer weighs a hefty 1400 kilos because of the massive battery, but it doesn't feel quite that heavy in the way it drives. The steering is razor sharp and it just darts from corner to corner. But how quick is the Zoe eSport really? To put things in perspective, we brought a Porsche Cayman S along. In a drag race, it was no contest. The Zoe, with its max torque from the get-go, just ran away. But what about on a full lap? All that lateral grip, instant response and four-wheel drive traction made up for the lack of top-end whack. But was that enough to beat a legend? It was time to get into the Porsche and find out. The mid-engine Cayman handles brilliantly and down the straight, it's definitely faster with more top speed. But around a lap, not quite quick enough. Stopwatch clock me a good two seconds slower. Now this may make purists blood curdle, but this is proof that boring and green EVs can be exhilarating too. True, the Zoe eSport doesn't have the range to do more than 10 laps and its race spec does give it an advantage over a road-going car. But it's only a matter of time when mainstream EVs too will find their way into sports car buyers' hearts and minds. The Zoe eSport is just a peek into that future. Sick
कभी न रुकने वाले जुनून को रफ्तार देता है सर्वो वर्ल्ड क्लास लुब्रिकेंट्स